Ladies, gentlemen, and all in between. Today will be the worst day of your life, but it will also be the best. Tonight you will eat a meal that will upset you. You will also eat a meal that will disgust you. You may even eat a meal that is known to cause uncontrollable sobbing. Now, as different as these three dishes are, they each have one thing in common. All three are the same dish. Palate absentia. The word palate refers to an appreciation for the taste and texture of a meal. The word absentia refers to the absence thereof. Now this project began as but an art installation developed by myself in order to seal the hole in people's heads from which memories so often flow. However, as time progressed, the project became so large, so pregnant with meaning, that no art gallery on earth could contain it. Now, I have toured almost the entire state of New York with Palette Absentia. Some cannot separate it from its roots in the black box theaters of Soho. Others believe its power lies exclusively in holistic medicine. And yet, I believe it is both. Or neither. I will leave that up to you to decide. And thus, I present to you, Chicken of the Altar. Just chicken is fine. Can we just call it chicken, please? Y yeah, sure, fine, whatever. Now, David, do you have any dietary restrictions? No. Good, awesome. Now, uh, you have short-term memory loss, is that right? Yeah. I mean, I think. I can't seem to remember too well, to tell you the truth. Good. Well, not good that you have it, but good, I'm glad you're being honest. What am I being honest about again? Let's just let him do his thing, honey. Any, uh, burning questions before we begin? Who are you? <laughs> David, this is your brother-in-law, Thomas. You greeted him at the door. Oh. Nice to meet you, Thomas. You've met before. This is your brother-in-law. Oh. What's his name? Uh, David, under your seat you will find a single butter knife. It's not... It's under my seat. Oh, I, I, I must have m mistaken the, the placement of the butter knife in <laughs> relation to the placement of you guys. That was my bad. <laughs> No, no, that's fine. David, I now call upon you to approach and eat of the chicken of the altar. What's in it, specifically? Honey, it's gonna be fine. I can walk over with you if you want. Yeah, okay. Couldn't you have gotten me a fork? Yes. But, have you really earned a meal if you don't toil for it? Thomas, get him a fork. It's fine, Ames. I can get it. What did I just fucking say? Oh, avant-garde bullshit. Look, Thomas, I know you're working hard to put what you did to David and I in the past. I understand that and I respect it. But if we're going to get back to where we used to be, you need to show me that you care enough. Do you understand? Yes. Y yes, I, I do. I'm, I'm sorry. Guys, fork. Right! Uh, let's get back to where we were. Should I just like take it from the beginning or? Let's pick it up from the butter knife part. Yes! Okay. Under your seat, David, you will find a single fork. Ames, how long has this been there? Um, I... Just... David, I am now calling upon you to approach and eat of the chicken of the altar. Sorry, I... Just... chicken. Be not afraid. What? What 
what's in that? Turmeric? Okay, you know what? We're done here. That's enough of that. But, but the process isn't finished. Oh, I don't give a shit. We're done. This is over. What's this even for? I'm sorry? Why are you even doing this? <sighs> I mean, why are you in my oh, house? For fuck's sake. Okay, David, Thomas and I are gonna step outside for a minute. Just watch TV or something. Ames, can you just tell me what's going on? David, I told you. It's not important. Now just go ahead and sit and- Then why are you so angry? Answer that much at least. Why are you so angry about something that isn't even important? If you don't tell me, I'm gonna leave. I'm gonna go stay at my mother's. Fine, fine. Thomas is trying to unlock some parts of your memory because a few months ago he did an abhorrent thing and he's trying to make peace with us. But he's doing a shitty job of it. What did he do? Amy, please, it, this is just gonna make him sad. Don't forget in five fucking minutes, it doesn't even matter. <sighs> David, when we first got engaged, Thomas didn't take it well. He thought you were too soft. He thought you were stupid. Which isn't true at all, honey, I promise. But he had some sort of warped idea that I deserve somebody better than you. Amy, please, this is long-term memory material we're talking about. He can Will you just shut the fuck up for once in your life? Just shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up! It isn't that difficult! Just stop talking for five fucking seconds! <sighs> One day we decided enough is enough. We're gonna bury the hatchet. So we had a picnic. But when we got done eating, Thomas took me aside and told me you were being unfaithful. He showed me pictures of you. I mean, they were so well photoshopped, and you, of course, denied the whole thing. You stormed out of the house. You didn't look both ways when you crossed the street, and a car hit you. A Range Rover. Aren't Range Rovers notoriously big cars? They are, honey. They really are. And that's why you've been going to PT. That's why you don't remember anything for more than 30 seconds at a time. You know, I think I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get out of here. You are such an asshole. Why did you say this whole thing works if it just doesn't? But it does work. It just doesn't work how you think it does. Well then how the fuck does it work? It's the illusion of expertise. If I tell them it works, then it will. So then it doesn't work. So you're just tricking people into thinking your dog shit food means anything. I'm not tricking them into thinking it means anything. Art can be ugly on purpose if it means something. Everybody knows that. I mean, look at that painting, for example. And, and, and food is, is an art, right? A culinary art. So I'm making food that is outwardly repulsive, but it means something and it's going to help a lot of people someday. How is that different from any other art aside from how unique it is in the grand scheme of things? Answer me that, Amy. So then you aren't doing this for David. This is just a proof of concept. That is untrue. I am doing this for David. And I am doing it as a proof of concept, if that's what you need to call it. Dualities exist, Amy. Two things can mean two things at the same time. However, they don't mean shit if you don't trust the fucking process. <laughs> you need to leave. Get out. I don't know who you are. I don't know how you got into my house. And I definitely don't know why you're so pissed at Amy. But nobody talks to my wife that way. Especially not her own brother. How did you know that? How did I know what? I'm her brother. You don't know who I am. You don't know how I got into your house. But you remember that. I... I just assumed. It was you and Amy have a brother-sister kind of vibe. I swear to God, it was just an assumption. It worked. It actually worked. David, what was the make of your first car? A Chevy. It was a uh, Chevrolet. 
Oh my god. It worked! It fucking worked! <laughs> David, can I talk to you upstairs for a minute? Uh, sure. Thomas, let yourself out. Thanks a lot for all of this. All right, I'd like to place an order for pickup. 